Hello everyone, welcome to Bojon Meditech and I am Rabindar Patel. In today's video, we have Dr. Farooq Sir, Vice Chancellor of Indigen State Medical Institute. And Sir will tell you why you should choose Indigen State Medical Institute and about clinical, how is clinical practice and academics. Everything Sir will tell you why you should choose Indigen State Medical Institute. Hello Sir, thank you for coming. And Sir, Actually, please, I should thank you for coming here. <laughs> yeah. And sir, please tell mm -hmm. our students why students should choose Indigen State Medical Institute. Okay, so our institute, first of all, uh, is established in 1955. Yes, sir. You know, this is a long history. Yes, sir. It means long history means we have a really nice uh, the school of medicine here, especially school of surgery. And the Chinese, we can proudly can tell that most of the best surgeons in Uzbekistan, they get the the, the medical education here in Andijan yes, State sir. Medical Institute. And what makes Andijan State Medical Institute better than any other uh, the medical institutes which are located in Central Asia or let's, let's say in Uzbekistan? Yes, because recently we have been in, in, uh, investing a lot of finance. Uh, we have been investing all our resources to, to build and modernize our new super yes, specialty sir. clinics yes, sir. as well as uh, to construct new teaching buildings. Okay, so sir. that's why, uh, of course, medical uh, the education is all about practice. Yes, so sir. for the better practice facility, we should make the good the, the environment to students to practice their uh, theoretical knowledge. So right now we came here to see our new hospital so the new clinic actually this is the the uh, we can say not a new clinic we have a clinic since long time but this is the, the under the construction and the renovation okay, so like the few blocks of the the our clinic is already uh, the uh, renovated so now we will make some quick short tour into the reception and some uh, surgical theater operational theaters in order to, to get familiar with the facility of uh, our clinic. Okay. Let's go. We also are having the emergency unit. Okay, sir. So this place, as you can may see in all the hospital, this is for the special the ambulance and the ambulance vehicles. So they can drop the patient here or there. So this is the, uh, the reception of uh, our clinic. So, uh, and also some the, the places for the, like the waiting area for, for the patients or the, the, the people who, who accompany the, the patients wherever coming, so they can uh, the, the, like the, the, the seat and wait for uh, their little let's say the patients. Yeah, the patients. So, and this whole, the clinic will be the, the process will be digitalized digitalized there are the special sections as you may see that we, we, we left for uh, the, the monitors there will be the huge monitors to, 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 to like a displays like to, to show you some news or uh, direct you some some proper like the departments okay from here we will later on uh, we will uh, the, uh, the set up uh, this uh, instruction materials over here uh, in uh, not not only in Uzbek language in English as well and in Russian in three languages because uh, this will be a kind of international clinic so as you may know the Andijan is bordered with the Kyrgyzstan and also we have we are in the Central Asia in, in Fergana Valley this is one of the biggest clinic so we are also seeking for more international patients and uh, we have a good, uh, let's say, experience to work with the international patients as well. So there is a huge flow of the patients from the neighboring countries as well. So that's why we easily can tell this uh, super speciality clinic as an international clinic as well. And also in this clinic, uh, all the clinical subjects, okay. uh, clinical subjects, they are being taught in this clinic. Okay, so for example, if there is a surgery, they come to our clinic to have a class. The, all the clinical subjects, they they being taught in our clinic and this is very huge. So now we are only in, in the reception. So now we can see the, the, the surgical block over there. Okay, sir, come Let's go. So in total, 
we have a 15 blocks. Okay, sir. This one is only one block. Okay, sir. There are 15 blocks, and each block has a three stories. Okay, like you, you can see. So it, 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 it makes you to imagine how huge is it. So, okay. There is also small reception. We are in one department. This is a surgical department, okay? So, yeah, this is like, for example, therapist's room. Like you can see the tags here. Look, doctor's room, gynecologist's room, for example, here. For the gynecology. Okay, this is also one operational theater here. Yeah, this is so, OT room. Yeah. Uh, as I as I mentioned to you now, like uh, this is still under renovation. No, like internal decoration have already been finished, but now we are uh, the the under process of equipping the the clinic with a modern equipment. And uh, as you may see in, in in this operational theater, there are more than 15 operational theaters. More than this clinic, whole 15 blocks. To get ready the whole 15 blocks, it takes one more year. But, but what we are planning, yes, we cannot wait one year more. Yes, so that's why we will open them block by block. For example, now these two blocks are almost ready, right? Yes, so we will do the opening of the two blocks. Okay, and the, the renovation still goes in other blocks. Okay. okay, now I will take you to the in other blocks and also to the teaching building. Let's go. And I also also have to mention one more thing. Yes, sir. Andijan State Medical Institute has a most greenest campus. Yes, sir. Most greenest, like a uh, the campus, and greenest the clinic okay, uh, among the all the the medical institution clinics in Uzbekistan. So we also recently have submitted the like the necessary documents for the, the green campus ranking agencies. So the very soon their experts will come here in order to, to check it out, whether is it proper information or not. Because these trees, as you can may see, may, may see they have more than like the 50 years old. The, all the architectural map of the, uh, our clinic. And accordingly, you can count how many blocks are here and which blocks are uh, specialized for what kind of, uh, le let's say, um, uh, department, so you know. So, if you just get into the to the clinic, so the all the blocks are connected. Not all the, maybe more than ten blocks are connected. So you can just walk into the building without going out okay. from the block to block. Okay. Actually, sir, I visited. Uh, <coughs> Samarkand uh, mm -hmm. and Tashkan, Fargana, mm -hmm. and I saw as compared to Fargana, Tashkan, and mm -hmm. Samarkand, mm -hmm. clinically is very good in yeah. Indian State Medical Institute. Yeah, yeah, you are right. You are right because uh, in in Uzbekistan, yes, if you will ask from a local people, yes, local well medical students, yes, they all approve that in education. Medical education is good in Andija. Yes, sir. Why? Because we have a very good practical facility. Yes, in the, the time of graduation, the most of our graduates yes, are very skillful. They are almost ready to work, doctors, you know, in the, the final grade. Yes. The most the, the special units, departments of this renovated new clinic will be traumatology, and there will be special pediatrics unit, yes, uh, gynecology unit, and endocrinology unit, yes, and plus cardio surgery and transplant surgery. Okay. So these are the pillar, let's say the departments, yes. of pillar uh, specialities of the new, uh, uh, this renovated clinic. So now, um, that is the uh, block uh, the nine. This one is block nine. This one is block eight. eight and there is a new block. And this one is block 13 here in the left side. And this one is block 12. Yeah, yeah this one is block 12. Now we'll go back to say now. And as you may see, we have a huge place. 
a huge hospital. And this hospital is 700 beds. 700. 700. You can see there are a lot of land as well for by the constructing the new buildings, we also can in, improve the capacity of the clinic because these buildings were constructed long time ago and just was a three stories. But now modern architecture can let us to build uh, like higher the, the, the buildings and uh, to, uh, to, 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 to set up more patients here. And you know, like the students, they really like to, to spend their time during the break time over there. As you may see, these blocks now under renovation. So internal part is almost ready. External parts also going to be ready very soon. And then like, as I mentioned, so the, we should furnish it well with good furniture, like medical furniture, as well as medical equipments. So this is our clinical site. All the clinical departments are this side, but there is a theoretical departments like physiology, anatomy, pathological anatomy, right? Pharmacology. So these departments are in our new campus, new teaching building. So yeah, this is new teaching building. Yeah. So after one month, students will start study in this this teaching building. Yeah. So this is the the seven stories in total and uh, there will be the, the recreational area and also this is a statue of the Abu Ali Ibn Sina. From next month, after the opening, okay. we will move to our new teaching building. From next month. From next month. Yeah. You mean uh, now This is this, this uh, yeah. November, As you may see. November yeah, year. from no, no, November definitely our students will be in our new teaching building. We have the additional buildings that later on we can renovate and add some more teaching buildings over there. You know? Like. Thank you, sir, your valuable information Thank you. for our Indian students. Sure. So, guys, if you want to take admission in Indian State Medical Institute, you can choose us because he at Bojon Meditech is an official admission partner of Indian Medical Institute. Mm -hmm. So I hope this uh, this video will be informative for you. Thank you for watching.